ABC News Royals contributor Imogen Weber joins us now to take a closer look. Imogen, thanks for joining us tonight. Mm -hmm. Harry talks about a fight between his brother and his father, saying that there was jealousy over the public's initial love for him and Meghan. Do you think that that really played a significant role in the family's rift? I mean, it's been an extraordinary day, and I think you're just... I just feel empathy for all involved. One of the reasons we're so fascinated by the royal family is that they're historically consequential, but they're also a family, so they are therefore relatable. And I think there's just such sadness today that all that collective joy we experienced from that wedding, which was less than four years ago, where William was West Man, Charles was walking Meghan down the aisle, that seems to have evaporated. And it, it really does seem that the brothers' relationship has disintegrated and that would be the one thing that diana really would never have wanted for her boys we shall see what's in that book that's coming out uh spare at the beginning of january uh, prince harry heavily implies the palace offered up stories about him and Meghan in order to squash stories about other royals in particular his brother uh, does this sort of thing traditionally happen i think here's the thing british royals are not celebrities, they're public servants. They survive because of British public opinion. So they need the British press. They, they brief them. Um, so I think on, on some levels, um, those briefings, leakings, um, and there's already a lot of nitpicking going on, probably did occur. Um, but at the same time, on some levels, that's the deal that the royals sort of have to make because they are public servants. They are public property on some levels. Prince Harry blames the Daily Mail for Meghan's miscarriage, and the couple raises a lot of concerns about the tabloid tactics. Do you think that that will lead to any changes, perhaps, in how the royals interact with the British press? I think at the end of the day, Harry and Meghan at the moment, they need the American media, right? They need the American media on side. The British royals, they, they need the British media on side. I'm not sure how much will change. And I think overall, we can all have massive empathy for Harry and Meghan. I, I think you, you can't not watching this documentary. But at the same time, I do wonder if fundamentally it's not the press that are the biggest winners here. It's not the family, it's the press. We're talking about them, we're talking about their private lives again. Um, and how healthy will that be for everybody moving forward? Who knows? Buckingham Palace has said that they have no comment on the latest three mm -hmm. episodes. But do you think that now that Harry and Meghan's perspective is all out there on the table, is there any indication at all that the palace might have some regrets? The royal's mantra really is never complain, never explain. We may hear some more uh, coming out in subsequent months, um, years, and so forth. Um, but at the same time, the Windsors, the royal family, they have their eye on history, right? They're a thousand year institution. Um, and they know, they, 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 they know that surviving by that mantra has always worked for them in the past. It means that the British public can project onto them what they want. Um, so silence on some levels, being a figurehead, being slightly more silent figureheads tends to work for the family. And I can't see that fundamentally changing. Never complain, never explain. Really uh, fascinating family there. I, I, I'm curious, and this is kind of a crystal ball question, do you mm. think that the royal family might be able to, to hear each other's concerns and ultimately move past this deep rift? We would hope so. It was very interesting when King Charles gave his first ever speech um, as king, and he mentioned Harry and Meghan finding their new life in America. Um, so the door is, was made clear that it was open there and they were obviously a huge part of the Queen's funeral. I think the big question mark for everybody now is, is what is in Prince Harry's book at the beginning of January? And is that then a clean slate for Meghan and Harry? All right, Imogen Weber, we thank you so much for your perspective and insight. Thank you. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.